so it seems that even though there are a ton of political topics out there, especially like topics like immigration that are very, yeah, very strong feelings on both sides, very controversial, it seems that one topic that doesn't seem controversial at all, yet it's talked about all the time, is inequality, about how do we stop inequality, how do we make things more fair. I would argue, actually, that inequality in itself is not a bad thing. I wouldn't really say it's much of a good thing, but it's, it's not a bad thing at all. Uh, of course, it's important to start with definitions. So when I say inequality, I mean inequality of outcomes. Some people having more than others. Uh, some people having different amounts of wealth, standards of living, etc. That is not a bad thing at all. I mean, if you have two groups of people and one has a very strong work ethic and works hard to earn what they have, as well as working, say, efficiently, and the second group was very lazy, then inequality in this sense is not a bad thing. Of course, I understand the real world is a lot more complicated than that. Uh, not everyone that's that has a ton of wealth has worked for it, and not a lot of people that are poor are it's just because they're lazy. That's not true at all. I get that. So if we have two, two or more groups of people and one has lobbied government for special privileges and worked primarily to gain an advantage over others, while the other group is moral and does not do this at all, we can say that both groups are unequal. But it's not the inequality that's bad. It's the corruption that's bad. It's not the fact that one person has more than someone else. It's the fact that the person cheated. That's the bad part. We shouldn't claim injustice because one group has more than another. We should focus on how people acquire resources. If they do it morally, then that's fine. If people cheat to gain more resources, the problem is that they cheated, not that they have more. Earlier this year, I read Sololinsky's Rules for Radicals, and I was astounded not by his tactics, but by his moral or immoral perspective. He seemed to be in favor of equality of outcome and not equality of opportunity. He divided people into three different groups, uh, the haves, the have-nots, and the have-a-little-want-mores. Alinsky did not differentiate between those that worked hard to earn wealth and those that stole wealth via corruption. Both of these groups were kind of lumped together into the haves. I think this perspective is very dangerous. Uh, he seems to think that if you're part of the haves, then it's perfectly okay for the have-nots to take from you, regardless of whether you earned it legitimately or not. Being part of the .001% is not a bad thing if you earned it legitimately. In fact, if you make over $32,000 a year, you're actually part of the global 1% if you measure it by income. If you're focused on reducing inequality, you should actually give away a large portion of your income to people in foreign nations. I imagine you don't see having as much money as you do a bad thing, and I would agree with you. In fact, inequality of outcome is perfectly natural because we're all incredibly different. The Pareto Principle, a concept by an economist of the same name, states that 80% of results are produced by 20% of the people. You might have heard of this as the 80-20 rule. This means that if I run a large business, 20% of my employees will produce 80% of the value. Therefore, it would be fair for the top 20% of my employees to receive 80% of the wages paid. That's incredibly unequal, but also fair. If I had a business and I paid everyone equally, I can guarantee you that my best employees, this top 20%, would leave. They'd go to another business that would pay them better, and I'd be stuck with a pretty poor business. Of course, if I paid myself just as much as I paid all of my employees, or say if I paid myself even double what I paid my employees, I really wouldn't consider that much fair if I had a gigantic business, because chances are I'm providing more value. It's much more of a risk for me in this business. So when we look at people that have more money than us, we shouldn't look at them as like, oh, they're bad people. We shouldn't dislike them because they have more. We should look at them and say, I want to be like that. A friend of mine once told me that he was opposed to the people attacking the rich, saying, hey, we need to take more from them. They need to pay more. Because from his perspective, he wanted to be one of those people one day. His goal was to be like those people. Those people had achieved what he wanted to achieve one of these days. And to attack them is just ridiculous. Inequality in itself is not the problem. We need to be focused more on corruption and not just the fact that they have more. But let me know what you think in the comment section. If I missed something or if you agree, like the video and subscribe to my channel for more.